About 40 parents and students who say they are not satisfied with an investigation of alleged sexual misconduct at Coppell High School protested this morning at the campus. Protesters wore red shirts and carried signs in solidarity. The mother of the alleged victim was also there. We're not going to show her, though, because of the sensitive nature of the allegations. She claims her son, who has a form of autism, was bullied into exposing himself inside a school bathroom, and pictures of that incident were spread on social media. Police did not release details of their investigation, but they say they interviewed everyone involved and determined the incident did not meet the criteria for criminal charges. Police believe it was the work of professionals, and they want to find the five burglars who broke into a Euless gun store and took off with nearly 40 guns. Fox 4's Natalie Solis is at Euless Guns and Ammo with the story. Natalie. Well, Heather, this was a very brazen hit, especially when you consider that this gun store is adjacent to the police station. Police say whoever did this was in and out in two minutes. It appears to have been a well-planned break-in by experienced thieves. And they came in straight through the front doors, and it looked like they just went for the first thing that they saw. Euless Guns and Ammo store manager Seth Colton arrived right after police early Saturday morning. Police say five thieves backed up a white pickup, possibly a Ford F-250, broke the glass front doors and pried open the metal door cage, then broke into two gun cases before heading out the way they came in. And I immediately got to work on our AND log, figure out what was still here, what was stolen. The gun store sits right next to the police station, so the response time within minutes. But the time it takes for the alarm company to alert dispatch and get officers on scene, all the time needed for the thieves to get in and out. That tells us that it's, it's probably done professionally, it's been well planned out, um, and probably uh, the business has been watched for some time for something like that to happen. Police say the five suspects were covered head to toe, so their gender and ethnicities are unclear. They got away with 39 handguns. We did have some surveillance video where the suspects attempted to get some of the long guns, but they were secured a lot better and uh, none were taken. About this time last year, the same store dealt a blow when a storm blew off part of the roof, scattering insulation across the parking lot. Colton says they've made repairs and upgrades since then. The challenge, staying one step ahead of the bad guys, will stop at nothing to get in. We're greatly increasing our security system. You know, it worked flawlessly just as it should, but it kind of opened our eyes as well. Well, police tell us that they are comparing notes with other departments to see if this case could possibly be linked to others. They also tell us that the ATF is a big part of this investigation and that it is pouring over that surveillance video. Still unclear if and when it might be released. Back to you.